All right, hello and welcome to module seven DHCP. We're going to configure a DHCP now together. So please open up your um, your packet tracer and bring in a twenty nine eleven router in. All right, so we're going to get and you see how fast we're going to do this. So I'll be going quickly, fast enough, but you guys, of course, are going to pause and take your time doing this. And when you're done, submit it. All right, so bring in a twenty nine eleven. Then let's go on the switches, bring in 12960 switch, and let's bring in two PCs, a PC here, and another PC that's going to be for VLAN. So we're going to make this, uh, make this as VLAN 10 PC, and we're going to make this PC VLAN 20 PC. All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the switch and we're going to type in the commands to configure the VLANs. So when, here we go, we're going to type EN config T, no IP, I'm sorry, it didn't work, config T, uh, no IP domain lookup. Okay, let's give it a host name of SW1. Okay, let's create VLAN 10. Name that as students. And let's create a VLAN 20. And name that as faculty. Okay, let's move interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and switch port mode access, make it um, a data port, and then switching it from dynamic to access. And now let's move it, switch port access to VLAN 10. All right, so now that port moved to VLAN 10 uh, from VLAN 1. All right, hit the upper arrow key once, twice, three times, Change the 0, 1 to 2. We're going to take port 0, 2. Hit the upper arrow key once, twice, three times. Make it access. Hit the upper arrow key once, twice, three times. Change the 10 to 20. All right. Beautiful. And then we're going to have a trunk port at 0, 3 that connects to the router for the inter VLAN routing. So we're going to go interface FA0 slash 3. And we're going to say switch port mode trunk all right beautiful so and now let's do the connection click on connection straight through cable from the pc fast ethernet to the switch zero one another one from pc of vlan 20 to the switch fast ethernet zero two and let's put the trunk from here all the way to the router G double zero. All right. Beautiful. We're not going to configure the PCs with IP addresses. So we did the VLANs and we uh, attached them to the appropriate port. Now let's go and do the inter VLAN routing on the router. All right. So the first thing we need to do before we even do that, let's decide this VLAN. I'm just going to go in and get a text box in here. This VLAN is going to be 192.168.10. Dot zero slash 24. All right. And this network right here for VLAN 20, I'm going to give it 192.168.20.0 slash 24 network. All right. So let's now, oops, let me click back on the arrow. And now we're going to go CLI on the router. Enter, enter, type EN. Config T, um, no IP domain lookup. Let's do a host name of R1. All right, now let's go to G0 slash zero interface and say no IP address to make sure if there's an address, we remove it because that's where all the sub interfaces are going to be created. And then open it up by typing no shut. 
All right, hit enter again. Now let's go and create a sub interface. Sub interface G0 slash 0 dot 10 for VLAN 10. And type ENC encapsulation, hit the tab key. And then you type DOT1Q number 10. And let's give it the last IP address in 192.168.10. Last IP address of the subnet is 254 with a mask of slash 28. I'm sorry, 24. All right. Now hit the upper arrow key once, twice, three. Let's create another sub interface for VLAN 20. Enter, enter. Type ENC and hit the tab key. Type DOT1Q space 20, right? And now we can give it the IP add 192.168.20.254, right? Space 255.255.255.0, all right? And now the interfaces are configured. The last IP address of this one and this one is configured as the default gateway. So we got to make sure we can do that on the uh, exclude these addresses from the DHCP server. All right, type exit. Now let's create the DHCP server. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to exclude the addresses of the default gateways. So type IP DHCP, type EXC and hit the tab key. And you're going to say 192.168.10.254, right? Hit enter. Hit the upper arrow key. And we're going to ex also exclude the IP address for the VLAN 20 default gateway, the dot 20. All right, let's also exclude the first um, two addresses in VLAN 10. So 10 dot one space 192.168.10.2 okay and then exclude also the first two addresses in vlan 20 okay because those first two addresses also could be given to statically been configured maybe to the um to the switch and maybe to a printer in there all right so let's create the first pool ip DHCP pool. Let's give it the pool name called pool dash VLAN 10. And we're going to say uh, the network is 192.168.10.0, 255 255 255.0. We're going to do DEF, up DEF, and hit the tab key. That's the default gateway that's going to be assigned. 192.168.10.254, right? And let's just make up a DNS server. Type DNS server. Let's make it 10.10.10.1. All right, so the first address, that's it for the pool. So the first guy, this PC, when he boots up and sends out the DHCP discover, he's going to get address 192.168.10.3. right? Because dot two has been given out. One and two has been reserved or excluded from the pool he's going to get this mask he's going to get this default gateway and he's going to get this dns server all right so let's do the same thing for let's create another pool for vlan 10 just hit the upper arrow key and just let's create another pool called pool vlan 20 all right and the network for that is 20.0, we said, right? The default gateway, which is the default router, is going to be 20.254. And the DNS server is the same DNS server. Everybody uses the same DNS server, right? And that's it. We're done, believe it or not. So now let's test and make sure that we are doing it correctly. If you go to the PC... And you go to um, the desktop and go to the IP configuration. And now toggle. Of course, in real life, you don't have to do this, right? If you toggle from static to DHCP, you should be able, there you go. So dot three, the mask 
the default gateway was given and pin.1. All right, if you go to VLAN 20 and we'll be able to get an IP address as well, toggle. And there you go, you got the 20.3 and bingo. And they'll be able to ping each, each other now. So if I go to PC1 and if I go to, uh, I'll close this. And if I ping 192.168.10. Not 10. The other guy is 20.3. You should be able to respond. Uh, it's going to fail for the first time because the TTL number reaches zero, but it responds. Right? Perfect. Now, by the way, when he sends out a DHCP discover, how did the router know to go to pool VLAN 10 to give him an IP address? That's because his DHCP discover came through the default gateway of 10.254, right? So the router looks, where are you coming sourcing? The sourcing from, from which default gateway? And that's where the pool that I um, go to grab the IP address from. All right, beautiful. So that's it. This is how you create a DHCP server on a router. You can go to the router. Let's go back to the router. Just, uh, just type exit, exit. Um, and let's type the command show DHCP binding. All right. Oops. Uh, show DHCP. Well, I guess maybe it does not support that. Let me put a question mark. Uh, let's write lease. It's not showing the at least anything. All right, that's... Well, let's do the show run. The binding doesn't work in this packet tracer. And there is the commands. All right? So if you type here, you know, if you don't want the whole thing to show up, type show uh run let's put the pipe that's on top of the greater than sign space right section dhcp let's see if that works um we spelled section i guess let's see if that actually supported by packet tracer it does beautiful so it shows only the part of the DHC uh, for, of the running config that does the DHCP. So that command works. So that's nice. So let's try one more command. Uh, let's do D show um, DHCP. Um, what else do we need? Uh, server stats. Let's see if that works. No, that does not work. Okay, so that's not supported either. All right, so anyway, um, on real routers, by the way, of course, these commands will, will work. But on a packet tracer, we're limited. So please save this and upload it as homework. And I'll see you on the next video.